Oh, I have like 15 layers. I'm, I got four shirts on and two pairs of pants. I'm wearing thermals, blue jeans, a t-shirt, a tank. Yeah. I've... Gotta go. Gotta see things. See new faces and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. It's been a long time coming, but I thought I would kick off the restart of my YouTube channel with the perch season in Chicago. Yes, we are back at Navy Pier. I'm so excited. The perching season happened, I think it just like officially started. I mean, it could officially start like two weeks ago, but it officially started last week. And I went a couple days ago, like last, almost last week, and did very well. I'm so excited how, the per how many perch are in. There's not a ton in. But not as thick as that, you know, as you guys saw in that video I did last year. Remember that thick wall of perch? If you guys haven't seen it, um, check out my channel. You'll see the underwater perch video from 2017. So take a look at that. It's unbelievable. It's just a wall of perch. Now, it's not that yet, but that's coming. But the, there's jumbos still mixed in there right now. It's not like they're coming in. There are jumbos in there. I, got, I had an underwater cam going. I've had a live cam going. I had time-lapse cameras going. I got all kinds of cameras going. Um, to try to see if I can collect as much information as I can so I can pass it on to you guys so you can see what's going on. And it's really interesting and I'm finding out new stuff each time I go and I've been out about a couple times already with many more visits to go to Navy Pier. And I love bringing new friends along. I got a couple new friends that are coming and joining us and they're addicted now of course because it's just a fun time. You know, and a lot of... <laughs> Being in the bass tournament industry or bass fishing industry, um, it's funny, you know, how the bass guys are like, oh, perch, panfish, whatever, you know, that's sissy stuff. But you know what? Yes, it's easy. I just sit there and I jig or I just cast out and there's bite after bite after bite. But it's fun, especially in the winter season when you don't ice fish. I mean, I ice fish a little bit and I'm still kind of on the fence about it. But um, when there's no open water, Lake Michigan's open. It doesn't freeze for a long time yet. And even when it does freeze, it doesn't really freeze solid over in Navy Pier. You can still get through the ice. And the perch are gonna be there for months. They're probably gonna be there, it's what, November now? The day before Thanksgiving. It's going to be going on until at least well into January. And so that's a long time. And it's just a great time to share with friends and family. And, you know, and just to go down there and there's like, Probably like, it's like 500 other fishermen on the pier, but it's not so busy that you can't find a spot. There's plenty of open spots to fish. It's comfortable, warm, safe atmosphere, bunch of great guys and gals out there just fishing together, having a good time, because everybody's catching. There's no secret, they're biting on everything, but I'm gonna try to share with you the way I was fishing. Um, there's, a, there's a couple different ways, but I'm gonna show you um, the video that I shot today, and I'm gonna give you an idea of what I was using, how was successful. You're going to see how successful it is because you're going to see some of the catches on camera. Some underwater footage, actually I have a lot of underwater footage, of both catches, what's what's doing well, what's not doing well, uh, what, what's going on down under the water, um, you know, how are they reacting, what the conditions are. So I want to share everything with you. And also, also if you decide to go to Navy Pier, what the whole setup is, what to expect if you've never been down there. So, you know, parking situation, fees, things like that. So I have it all spelled out for you and I'm gonna try to give you whatever, whatever information I can um, to make sure you guys have an enjoyable experience. So without further ado, enjoy the video. All right, all right so we are in the East Parking Garage right now and um, it gets a little busier here than the West Parking because the West Parking is kind of far and people have to walk through a bunch of uh, places to get there, but we're going to go and validate the parking. So right where you come in, there's the entrance to come in. Right next to it, there's a red door. Let's see it right over here. Let's see if I can get a better idea. There's a red door right there. That's where you want to validate your parking. So you just walk in the office, there's usually somebody there and get your parking ticket done. Here oh, is really? the ticket, and here is my license. 
Now, what's the fisherman rate? Is it every day? Every day, uh, you have to be... Five to 10? Yeah. Okay, right. every day, awesome. I didn't know it was during the week too, that's great. Good to know. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Hey, that easy. Very easy. We gotta find the door. Okay, so the door's over here. So that's where the parking thing is. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. So then he hands you a yellow ticket, and that yellow ticket is good till about 10 o'clock. So there we go, confirmed. Looks like we have the fisherman's rate every single day, even during the week and the weekend. If you're here by five, or you could be here at five, anytime after five, but you have to be out by 10, you'll know, get your tickets. So, here we go, guys. Let's get out there. Uh, Ron, that's my spot. You catching them? In my spot? <laughs> With my pole? <laughs> go for it. No, go ahead. No, please. You got a limit to fill because uh, you're not pulling your weight lately. Kind of disappointed in you. You can continue. You can do that. I'm not using that pole. There's just a bunch of small bites. They're just little ones. Yeah, I know. Little guy. Eh. I don't know. Here's not the size you're looking for. These are guys are really tiny. So, throw those back. But what I'm doing is probably the best, your best hookup ratio is to use a cast master. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's kind of like a kind of like a, a type of spoon. It's a brand name. There's silver and gold. There's like a smaller one. I think this is. Um, I want to say this is a one eighth ounce, but I could be wrong. But it's smaller, smaller one. So about the size of a quarter um, length. So and what I do is I just put a little piece of raw chicken right at the end. Try to get it through as many troubles as you can, but expose the hooks. So that's kind of what we're using. So let's see what we can do by getting down there. So it's, I usually get a better hiccup hookup ratio with a cast master. So that's what we're gonna, I switched to that. The drop shot allows you to cast it out there a little bit farther and uh, bring it back. But with the cast master, I'm finding out, sorry for the truck. I'm finding out with the cast master, I get a better hookup ratio because I'm just jigging straight down and they're, they're just below me. Um, with a drop shot, then you can cast it way out and you'll know exactly how far your bait is from the bottom. And then you could slowly drag it back to kind of figure out where those bigger perch are. But right now, I'm just finding out they're they're all over, so I might as well just use something that's got a better hookup ratio, which is Castmaster. So, like I said, tip it with the. Uh, you can tip it pretty much with anything. They're kind of biting on everything, but chicken seems to hang on the longest. And even though they pick at it, I can kind of use the same piece of chicken, kind of pretty much all day. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll switch it out, but right now it's doing pretty good for me. So let's let's go back at it and see if we can get some bigger ones. That feels decent. That's a good one. Yes. That's the one I want. Yes. Finally. Got one on camera. I can show everybody. Mm. And she can rub it into our face. No, I'm not going to rub it in your face. No way. It's like, look at the draw down there. No, I know you are. I got it. difference in the fish. Uh, not really. So. This is what we were catching, and that's what I got today. So if you guys can see that, it's a little bit of a difference. So, a little bit, not much. I want to get bigger than this though. This is probably 11, maybe. So, no, I think it's 11. It's hard to say. It's a bigger one, isn't it? This, one, this one's a 12. That's a 12. I don't know if you guys can see them. But this one right here is a little bit bigger. Kind of see it. So this is probably more of a 12. This is like an 11. But they're still very chunky. They got a lot of meat on them for 
these perch. So for not being really true official jumbos, because these are, like I said, still only about 11 or 12 inches, but these are very common. We're, we're, we're bringing up a good handful of these, but you do have to go through a lot of the small ones to get to these guys, so. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's better. That's a cute, oh, got it right in my face. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the underwater cam that I got set up here. So, zoom in here. So this is currently what's going on underwater. You can see some perch floating around. That's directly underneath us. I just got the camera straight down. So this is just a regular generic type of uh, camera setup that I got on Amazon. It's probably like 100, 120 bucks, something like that. I think if you get the extra 50 feet of line, then it's like 150 bucks. I think that's what it is. So I got the 50 feet of line on there. So let's see if we can pull the camera up. And it just, there's a few, oh, there they are. There they are. So that is live underneath us right now. Just, you know, just under the pier here. Looks like a lot of them are suspended too. So there they are. So that's what you guys can see right now. So that's what we're actually trying to catch. The good thing about the camera is that they're pretty curious about the camera. They're not really afraid of it, as you can see. There's a guy right there looking at it. So it's kind of a cool camera setup to have. That way you kind of know where the perch are, what kind of size is down there. If they're suspended, if they're on the bottom. So like I said, it's about $100, $150. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, no particular brand. If you guys want to know uh, what kind it is, just send me a comment. Um, you know, just give me a question in the comments if you guys have any questions about it. Battery lasts about 8 to 12 hours, so it's pretty good setup. So, right now here's Brian's actually throwing something down there right now. And uh, you can kind of see how the perch are going after it. Kind of, kind of a cool setup. But this one does record, so there's an SD card on there, so I am recording on that as well. But the quality isn't so great. It's more like a CCTV camera. It's not like HD like I get the DSLR, so... Yeah, it's kind of a cool setup. You can kind of see what's going on down there. There's a little guy right there. Look at him. Just checking us out. It's cool. So, but I'll add some underwater footage in this video.
All right, guys. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up and see if I can show you what we have. Line these things up. All right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually clean up the perch really quick, just kind of rinse them off, and I'm going to lay them down. I'm going to try to make them from smallest to biggest, biggest to smallest, whatever. Lay them down, kind of give you an idea of the size variety that's out there. You guys can see what they look like compared to each other, so you guys can kind of get an idea. And I'm going to measure them really quick so you guys can see the size of one of them is still kicking. So I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So let me put this down here so you guys can get a better idea of what they look like. And I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at that beautifulness. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. So, not quite two limits, but as you can see, there's a heck of a lot of nice, nice perch fillets in here. So right now the smallest we're looking at are down here. So this is the smallest one that I perceive still kicking. Doesn't want to be measured, either does that guy. So that's the smallest one we have. So let's take a look at how long this guy is. So from the tip, so we're looking at close to nine. Actually, this one's actually really small. He's only about eight and three quarters. Mmm, little. But he's so plump. Look how much meat is on this guy. So that's the smallest one I, I believe we have. I don't think we have one smaller than that. And that one is kind of like a, that one's actually kind of a fluke. I don't know how he got in the bucket. The next one, the next one up is definitely a solid nine. So he must have been just a little short run, but he's chunky. So <clears throat> the biggest one I think we have as far as size, I would say is these, but I've got a couple of these are kind of a tie. This one right here, the one that's kind of being a little rebellious, he looks like he's longer. So I'm gonna measure them both. So this one right here, Looks like he's gonna be, let's see if we can do Pinch's tail. So we're looking at, yeah, he's a solid 11. Just a hair over. So not too bad. I had a couple of 12s the other day, and I could have sworn he, he looks more like a 12, but let's see what happens. So let's see how long this guy is. I don't know if he's longer or not. No, he's actually shorter, he looks longer. So he's only about 10 and a half. So it's hard to say. So a lot of these look longer, shorter. Maybe this guy's a little bit longer, let's see. This guy. Not ten and a half, so looks like this one. It's the solid eleven. He's the monster. Let's see the next one in line. He's uh, about ten and three quarters. The next one. So, yeah. So it, the quality of these fish today are a lot better. I got um, more chunkier fish. They got more meat on them um, than the other day. Even though I got some longer ones, but they were longer and skinnier. So, like I said, these are beautiful fish. That's kind of what I'm looking at. You know, so that's a pretty darn good, nice size perch. Not quite the jumbo I'm looking for. They are bigger than this, much bigger. There are 14s, 15s, even 16s getting pulled out of there. Just, it's almost kind of the luck of the draw. And I keep thinking, oh, or maybe they're in a different spot. They're not. They're down there. You'll see it in the underwater footage. They're down there. So, like I said, so you can see the size difference. Let me bring the camera up here. Bigger perch. That's our biggest, and here is our smallest. Big difference, although still have a lot of meat in them. I'd rather throw these guys, this is this guy's kind of a fluke, so this is kind of more the size that I'm kind of looking at, so this is more like the nine inch. So as you can see, big difference. So um, as far as the nine inch compared to the 11, solid 11 inch, big difference. And I'd like to find more of these but I do like to make perch chowder, so I have no problem making more of these. But like I said, when I've been filleting some of the smaller ones, I prefer to keep the bigger ones. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm filleting some fish for some other guys um, who caught some, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of what I'm looking for. So it would be nice if this was the minimum size, but we're, you know, we're still working on it. There are a lot of fish down there, um, bigger ones, than, much bigger ones than this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fillet these up. I'm going to get them going. I'm going to freeze some of them. I'm going to um, actually have somebody I'm going to give some fresh fillets to today who's can't make it out to perch fish, but they're a really good friend of mine, so I'd like to definitely give them some as a, as a little gift uh, so they can make them for Thanksgiving tomorrow, so I'm excited. And um, and we're going to have some, some nice fresh perch for, for a meal for the next couple of days, and we're going to be back at it on Friday, 
Saturday, maybe even Sunday. I'm going to go probably this weekend, but I'm going to meet up with different friends every day. So guys, thanks again for watching this video and promise you there will be many more videos to come and I'll answer any questions I can try to help you guys out so you guys can have a successful, successful perch experience. Bye guys. See you later.